Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back for another video. So for today's video, we are going to be filming a kind of office tour. If you have seen my other two videos on this channel, my other two episode videos, oh, my arm is getting tired and we are only 18 seconds in. Um, but um, if you see my other two episodes in this channel, I've always referred to my office as like this little wall space in my room because I am in college. So I don't really have like a whole a lot of space to have a, another whole room dedicated to just an office give you a reference that right there is my closet my closet is that small um so i don't have a ton of room so my office is literally i have combined my area where i do my homework and combined my office and that's just what we're working with right now and it's fine it works um but yeah i'm just gonna give you guys a quick little tour a rundown how i store stuff how i keep things all that good stuff so i hope you enjoy this video i think this is like episode three video three all that good stuff so i hope you enjoy this video um definitely subscribe down to my channel below to see the future videos and what else is going to what else I'm going to film, all that good stuff. But yeah, I hope you enjoy. Um, definitely check out the description because I'll try to link a few products as well as follow me on my other social media to keep up with the shop and all that good stuff. But yeah, I hope you enjoy this video and let's get right into it. Okay, so hi you guys. I'm just gonna give you a quick overview of my office. Um, so I am a college student. Um, my office is in my room. Um, I don't have like a separate room for my office. My office is really just this right here that I am showing you, this little wall, this little section. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go more in depth. Um, I've been sitting at my desk most all day, so I just cleaned it off to where this is what it would normally look like. Um, in a perfect world, this is how I'd want it to look. But right here, I just keep my laptop just right over here is normally where I have it sitting. And then behind that is my sewing machine. Um, it's just a brother's sewing machine. That is the version. Um, I'm pretty sure you can get it on like Walmart. I got mine on Amazon. If I can find the link, I'll link it below. But you can get it at like Walmart or something like that. And then normally right over here, I would have my... Um, ironing board but um, I currently have it over here because I really have been needing to finish this project and finish those last few but I just haven't gotten to it yet but that is my little ironing board and my iron and then right beside my backpack I keep I have um, a piece of fabric that I need to one one item I need to bleach and another item I need to dye so I got this bucket from Dollar Tree and then I just have some bleach right in there but um so that is right over there and then behind my sewing machine I have my fabric the majority of my fabric is right over here so I just keep that behind there because I don't really have anywhere else to really put it but and then obviously my chair right here there's a little drawer right here but I don't use it at all so right next to it is so I have some fabric that I have pre-cut some more projects I need to finish some stuff I need to alter and fix um, I just have my pu um, push pins my pins um, my little cushion with all my pins in it and then I have some pin pencils and pins and then just my sewing box and my scissors right there. And then I have my board right here that I need to update. I normally keep homework and like mostly homework. Got some YouTube on there, some TikTok, some stuff I need to do for Etsy. And then I just have my vision board right up above. Just some things I like, some inspiration, all that good stuff. Um, and then as we go right alongside here, we have my printer, which is... I like this printer but I just am having difficulties with it so I'm trying to fix it but I just keep my printer right here and I try to keep this space pretty clear but um, I have my printer and then the printer paper and then I was originally um, going to open my shop in November so I had bought a bunch of Christmas stuff thinking I was gonna have a Christmas collection and all that 
but here we are in almost March. Um, it's February 23rd or something like that. Um, so yeah, I'm still debating do I want to wait all the way till Christmas to release it or should I do like a little Christmas in July special? Don't know, haven't decided that's a problem for later. Um, but I have some printer paper, just a little notebook, rubber bands. I have my recipe book right here because I'm trying to like plan out groceries and I need to look at what I want to make. But yeah, normally that's in the kitchen. But and then right underneath my desk, I just have some uh, extra fabric, just scrap fabric. And then I have some canvas canvases back there that is for a project I'm trying to do. Don't know how well that's going to work out. But and then the main bulk of my office is right here. This is my little drawer, which I have a video of me organizing it and putting it together, which you can watch over there. But I would just give like a quick little rundown. So right up top, I keep my um, scale. And then I have this fabric right here because I had an idea. Again, I have a lot of ideas. I just need to work on them. And then I keep my label maker right up there. And then in this four, first drawer, we have all my finished product, everything that is complete, ready to go, ready to sell. So that is the first one. And then in the second drawer, I keep my mailers, my smallest ones, my little um, like scrunchy um, clip things. Like when you buy a necklace at a store, the little paper that it's being held on, some little cards, my envelopes, tape, my stickers that I'm going to send out, just mailer stuff. And then I have some more mailer stuff right here. I have my bigger poly mailers and just my tissue paper, which is just all that's in this drawer. And then um, and this next drawer, I have my materials right here. It's about to fall. I just have my materials, so my elastic, um, some of my dyes, keychain stuff, all that kind of stuff, paint brushes. And then in this bottom drawer, I have, so right here on the side, I have Clorox wipes. Obviously, you got to keep things sanitized. My little binder that I'm trying to keep all my receipts in. And then I have my, some thread right over here. And then this basket I'm going to be using for photo shoots and to display stuff. But these right here are the ones that, so I make like ones that I have for me to keep and me to hold on to. So this basket is essentially the stuff that I make that didn't turn out great and I'm going to use for my personal use. So I try to have at least one of everything. Obviously with these two, I have two of them, but some of the other stuff I just have to, I pick whichever one that I make that turns out the ugliest in my opinion and I keep it for myself to use for promoting all that stuff. But yeah. So these, nothing's wrong with them. It's just they, out of the bunch that I made that day, they turned out to not be the most pretty. So that is that. And then right here, I kind of got distracted. But this is stuff for photo shoots. Um, I have like some crinkle paper, some tablecloth stuff, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I'm planning on doing a day where I bring you guys along with me for photo shoots and how I phone, uh, take my photos and stuff like that. Um, I don't know if I want to do my first, my first bit of launch stuff and film it, or if I want to do like my second one or something like that, because my first one's going to be a lot of trial and error and seeing like what I like. So I may not do my first one, but that is this container. And then right over next to it is this basket. So this is fabric that I am currently either needing to use or is going to be in a collection that's coming soon so this is stuff right now this is like my little pre-cut um stuff that's like i just need to sew it and then in here i have fabric that is stuff that i'm going to be cutting soon um so yeah and then this basket once i have it empty when i start my shop and start making stuff um that is what I'm going, when I have, say, a lot of orders, when I get to that point where I have quite a few, I'm going to be using this bin to bring with me to the post office to turn in um, all the stuff and mail them off to everyone. But yeah, so that is pretty much everything. I know some people have, like, 
probably a long in-depth office tour. Um, this is my office, so I don't really have much to go over, much to show. It doesn't take me very long. So, yeah. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video of me showing you guys my office and showing you guys what it all looks like, what all I store stuff and how I store things. Um, I will try to link, like, probably the sewing machine and the cart that I have. Um, yeah, I'll probably link those two. I can link my printer um, if I see it. But yeah, that's pretty much the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this was interesting and definitely stick around for the next video. I don't even know what that'll probably be. But I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you guys later. Bye!